So my name is Dave Money. I'm a Ralph Lauren polo collector. I also have a podcast called American Layers. Check out my collection. If you like the collection, you will like the podcast. You can subscribe on Stitcher or iTunes. I'm also um, at AmericanLayers.com. Anyway, when I was a kid, I saw guys in my classroom rocking shirts like this. Um, I didn't know what Ralph Lauren or Polo was, but this definitely stood out, and I was hooked. When I got my first job, I started buying Ralph Lauren, and it was on. I used to buy like a whole lot of Polo Sport. It was the 90s, and stuff like this was hitting. So I wouldn't wear this today, but this is uh, this is nostalgic. This is like some wrestling-inspired uh, polo sport jersey. We used to be into rugby's a lot. Um, I would have jumped on something like this back in the day. I have it now, but I don't really like it. It's kind of busy. I don't like big ponies. I don't like uh, too many logos. Uh, for me, collecting Ralph Lauren is all about style. It's not about the pony. It's about attention to detail. So I still have a few of these with you know emblems and stuff. Um, and it's a cool shirt. But not my real twist right now. Now, if you're talking about a fair aisle, I'm into that these days. This is a wool fair aisle. Um, the flag. The flag is necessary. If you got a lot of Ralph Lauren, you might want a flag. I didn't want the flag either. But like I said, I felt like it was necessary. I think the ski motif is cool. Right? Nice winter sweater. Got snowflakes, and even with these snowflakes, you got details like uh like extra seams right here. Um, like I guess this is a rib or, you know, some kind of seam. Just just some sort of added detail for me. That's what Ralph Lauren is always about. Has always been about. Uh, they do stuff that's cool, kind of whimsy, but not too far over the top. You feel me? This here uh takes me back. It's it's a big shirt. Um, it reminds me of the first one I showed you. We got this big gothic P. I'm not into big P's, but I had to make an exception because if this was a real collegiate shirt, it would have a big initial on it. But why I really like this is because of like the oversized ribbon. This is Ralph Lauren. You feel me? Details like this is what it's all about. Even if you look at the collar, you see how it's thicker here and then it then it gets narrow. All about the details, man. I like traditional and prep style, so this is right up my alley. You got to have a cricket sweater, right? Like, for me, collecting is not really about, like, plain items. But I will show you I have regular pants, but I'm not going to bust them open. A lot of guys like to show their, uh, they like to show off the, the polo shirts with the horse. Um, not really collectible. A couple more of those. They're great for layering, but they just, to me, they these just aren't shirts that you show as part of a collection. Unless that's like really your twist. Like, okay, here's a polo, but it's tartan. Like, I love tartan, so I would show you that. That's collectible for me. Collecting, collecting for me is really about like substantial pieces, like coats, jackets, you know, something kind of unique, and I'll show you that. I'm not going to show you plain Oxfords. I'm going to get to my favorites in a second. I will show you a few Oxfords with the club collar. These are favorites, and I'm gonna show you why. Because they go great. They go great with these heraldic ties. You feel me? Let me show you. For me, this is like traditional. This is this is style right here. This is Ralph Lauren. This is why I love the brand. And of course, we all gonna collect differently. But like I said, man, I like stuff that's like kind of unique, but not costumish. Uh, I like pieces that you look at, and you can't really you can't really say what year it was made in. You don't know if it's old or new because it's just it's just classic, you know, iconic, heraldic ties. Uh, you know, stripes, uh, rep stripes, regimental stripes, you know, patterns. I don't have many belts, but I do like. I do like ribbon belts, you know, with D-rings, O-rings, and then belts like this. This one was a favorite when I bought it, and then I uh, 
I realize it's too dark. It's a black watch, wool belt, but it's it's hard to see the pattern. So it kind of kind of fell from grace with me. This is uh, an equestrian inspired belt. You can see these nice hefty rings. Uh, this nice uh, heavy leather. This is what I like, man. Quality. It, it, when I see it, I just feel like, yo, I'm going to love this belt forever. My collection is not that big, but I feel like I'm, uh, I'm putting a lot of quality pieces into the collection. And I just wanted to share it with y'all. I like these boots right here. They are uh, Polo Sport. I think this buckle is crazy. It sets it off. I don't wear these, but these are great for like photos. A nice prop. Um, equestrian styling, but actually a, a rain boot. Uh, these boots I wear every day. I like the style, but the tongue is synthetic. Like I said, man, I'm all about raw material like 100% wool 100% leather 100% cotton not into synthetics like an exception might be some bubble vests or a few RLX pieces but so these these uh boots will be replaced but for now they'll do now these moccasins these moccasins are favorites look timeless you know what I mean a moccasin a leather sole and then we have this buffalo plaid wool uh, piece on the top. The leather laces. You know what I mean? Just raw material, uncut. Feel me? These are basic, but I like them. Just a basic sneaker to step around in. I have a, got a few pairs of those. Let's show you these hats. This is the hat I like least. And yeah, because of the logo. I like polo, but and this hat fits well. It does the job. I keep it in my pocket in case I need it, but I'd rather not rock the logo. Great colors, though. And, of course, I got a couple of these plain boys. You know. Not really collector items, but um, just something cool to have, you know, when you want to layer up and everything. But if we're talking about favorites, that's a denim and supply uh, trucker hat not a favorite but if we're talking about favorites it'd be like the stormy cromer this is made by rugby it's 100 percent wool it's it's thick it's heavy you know what i'm saying it's it's uh it has some character you know ties up at the front or this here this is a favorite you know caps that you can wear all winter this is a favorite again it's wool it has the suede brim and it has that classic uh, leather uh, strap and buckle. That's Ralph Lauren, y'all. That's collecting Ralph to me. Um, little bucket hat. Reversible. I don't like this side. But this side is a favorite. Uh, something like this. Little moose. Where's the other glove? When I came across these, snatched these up, you know, the flag glove uh, with the missing finger. I think that's cool right there. That's something worth talking about. You know, ties. Oh, this one right here is a favorite. Nice wool hat. Only trouble is they, they put li nylon in the brim, and I'm, I'm not feeling that. So I'm going to find one that's like all wool. Um, not into bears. You won't see any bears in the collection, but I, I came across this sham, like at a thrift shop, and I just, I snatched it up. You know, it's fun. The bear is kind of fun, but I just, just not into like the sweaters or anything. Um, let me show you some real pants, man. So these are RLX, and uh, I like these because of the waist. The waistband is real comfy, and then like the cool, you know, the drawstring, the eyelets, the zipper. Just a nice futuristic pant. I grabbed these at a time where I was rocking a lot of cardigans and a lot of classic stuff, and I just wanted a little twist. These pants are pretty cool. They came with uh, some frays and tears, and they have like extra seams. It's like a heavy cotton uh, work pant. Uh, the belt loop is like extra wide. This is why I like Ralph Lauren. Stuff like this. The wide belt loop. 
with the uh, metal button, and the button has a uh, the button is like painted and it has an RL on it. The button fly. This is why I like the brand because of these details. So I grabbed these uh, these denim and supply shorts. I was faking. I didn't want them, but I, I grabbed them because I something said, "Yo, if you don't grab these, you you might regret it." So I snatched them up. I don't wear them, but they, I have them. This here is more up my alley. Kind of flashy, but you know, classic at the same time. Just the red corduroy, perfect for the uh, winter and holiday. Um, uh, tartan jeans, man. These are favorites. Didn't even have to get these altered. So this is another example. Like this is kind of flashy for a pair of jeans, but but tartan is a a classic pattern. You know what I'm saying? So it's that little twist where it's not costumeish and it, it, it's not really plain. It's right in between. So um, if you like all over print, uh, critter pants. Here they are with a, with a nice crest on them. I like these. Another pair of critters. These are corduroys. You see we got the duck and the hunters and the shotguns. You know, kind of busy. But fun stuff. Let's get to the favorites though. Like I said, I like, I like substantial pieces. So you're going to see me with like vests and jackets. Um, this is a reversible... Blue label vest. It's nylon. Made that exception. Um, reversible rugby vest. And I guess this, uh, I guess this line is kind of like uh, Western inspired. Would go great with like a, a Western denim shirt. Reversible rugby. Here's a, a, a quilted blue label vest. Um, I don't wear it much. I kind of regret this purchase. But I'm going to keep it anyway. Um, yo, if you like traditional style, you're gonna like the uh, you're gonna need the oil cloth or the wax jacket or the wax oil cloth vest. Boom, here it is. Cool corduroy accents, nice strap across the neck to kind of like button you up. Suede accents and stuff, snaps on the back. Details, y'all. And if you peep that nice plaid lining, RLX, yo, grabbed this years ago. Cool RLX. Mm, another quilted vest, strap on the back, nice outdoor utilitarian feel. Again, here's another big, uh, another big P. Again, not into the big logos, but it makes sense in this context. It's a varsity jacket, a collegiate jacket, so it makes sense to have a big logo. And it's cool when you layer it up. Like you can layer this up and play it with the heraldic ties I was showing you. This is a new favorite right here. Uh, tweed, houndstooth, multicolored pattern. Um, even the button has like details on it. You know, corduroy collar. For me, this is this is what it's all about. Like, you're not going to see like everybody running around with this vest. I'm not saying it's rare, but you just don't see everybody running around with a, uh, with a houndstooth vest with downs in it. So for me, if I'm going to grab Ralph, I'm going to grab that. That's what it's all about for me. Another tweed vest. Waistcoat, you know, strap on the back. This one is rugby. Fits real snug, you know. Put it on with your Oxford and your tie. Uh, here's a quilted vest. Uh, Navy inspired, but with fireman hooks and a flap that you can close across your neck. Again, y'all, this is why I like the brand, man. It's because of these details. Now, other companies do stuff like that. But I feel like Ralph does it consistently, year after year. If I'm looking for that, I'm going to go to Ralph first. So here's a nice little uh, tailored jacket. Um, great for fall and winter. Reversible rugby vest. And these uh, buttons have ducks on them. I'll give you a closer look one day. But cool reversible rugby when I bought that, I didn't know what rugby was. Rugby was on its way out. Rugby left just after I bought that. I'm glad I grabbed it. I could have grabbed a few more, but I just I kind of slept. Anyway, if you like classics and you like raw material, the duffel coat is perfect. You know, this is 100% wool. It's no blend. And then, like, look at the rope. And then look at these wood toggles. You feel me? This is classic. This is something I'm going to keep for years. Like, if I like this now, I'm going to like it later. You feel me? 
it was big as hell. It was a small, but it was huge. So I had to get it chopped down. And now I love it. I should grab a few more. Nice summer jacket. Patchwork Madra. Can't go wrong with this. If you like those preppy events and all, you know, that horse stuff and all that, you're going to need something like that in the closet. This is old school. Uh, polo sportsman. Nice wool jacket. For me, this is unique because it's a jacket, but it doesn't have a zipper. All buttons. Button down to the bottom uh, to the waistband. That's cool. You don't see that um, on most jackets. Even... Even the sleeve uh, buttons up. You feel me? So when I'm searching for stuff to collect, it's, it's stuff like that. Like it's a plaid jacket with a chest pocket. It's got buttons instead of zippers. Stuff like that, you know. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Here is a, a yellow anorak. This is new, but it has a timeless feel. For me, it has a, an iconic feel. And when I say iconic, I mean like if you thought of characters like Paddington Bear or a cartoon character, you know, from, from way back, they would have like a simple raincoat on with like oversized buttons and, and, and well-built hoods. You feel me? Like iconic, almost uh, like a cartoon character. You feel me? I love this sort of stuff. Um, so I'm collecting this sort of stuff. I like fire hooks, um, just like the blue vest. This here is rugby. Uh, they call it a turnout coat. Um, it's a fireman coat. So you got these nice uh, substantial buckles. You got like an extra pocket. No logo or nothing, man. It's just a, it's just a dope jacket. Let me open it up. Now peep the detail, man. You got a corduroy collar. You got the flap across the neck. It's 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 good clothes, man. It, it, that's why I love Ralph, man. This here is a fairly new, I added a few months, a tartan jacket. I can put this on with any outfit, and I feel like I just upgraded the outfit. Trouble is, I wear it too much, but I love it. I got to find something similar. If I could find a fire hook, if I could find a fire hook jacket in tartan, the one that was out like two seasons ago, I'd be gravy. More fire hooks. Suede. You know what I'm saying? That raw material. This is a heavy jacket, y'all. This is substantial. For me, this is collecting. You know, when you got like, and I don't have a thousand of these, but if you're going to show me a quantity, show me a hundred of these. You feel me? That's collecting. Peep the details, man. The inside is plaid. Yeah, my collection is not that big, but, you know, I'm trying to put it together right, you know, with a lot of good pieces, pieces that I actually don't mind grabbing out the closet and just looking at because it's just a beautiful piece to me. That's collecting for me. Uh, this here is a favorite, another fireman jacket. This is like a real stiff, tight woven cotton. Uh, this jacket is waterproof. The, 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 uh, the seams are all bonded. Um, the nice sturdy buckle. And when you flip the collar up, you got this black watch. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's why I like the brand. Because the details like that. And then you got this buckle on here. Snag. You got the leather strap with the buckle. You have a, a leather strap with the buckle on the sleeve. You even got have like leather in here. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just quality, man. It's just attention to detail. That's why I like Ralph Lauren. If you like the collection, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and subscribe to the show on iTunes, American Layers, iTunes, Stitcher. Follow us on Facebook, Dave underscore money three on Instagram. Hey, thanks for rocking with me. Keep collecting. Rock that Ralph.